Hey everyone, this is Eric with Verse Design, and yet again I'm bringing you an episode of my Let's Build a House series. And this is going to be episode 5 in series 2, and again, if you've been following along, this is where we ended last time. And one thing I promised to do more of in this episode was the interior. There's a lot of exterior things that I can do at this point, and will do before the end of this series, but yeah, I just didn't have any interior in my last episode, and a lot of people wanted to see that, so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to focus on the interior. Right away, I decide that... I like where the staircase is in the bedroom, but it has to change. It has to be a communal staircase. So we make it like accessible from the living room area and turn that little area between the bedroom and the living room into like a hallway. It functions as a hallway and it's a unique shape. It's something I've never done in this game before. Um, it's really easy to fall in the routine of making everything a box but being on a diagonal like this, um, and again, like I said, that was the recommendation for this series, and the point is, for me anyway, to try new things. So this is something I haven't done before, cliff lot on the diagonal, and it's hell, I'm not going to lie about it, it can be really annoying, but it's also giving me really cool opportunities, like, you'll see the way that I do this staircase... Um, I love it. It's turned out like no other staircase I've done in this game. And as frustrating as diagonals can be, it has given me the opportunity to do some really cool stuff. So, yeah, this is how the staircase ends up. I end up pushing it back one square towards the living room. It kind of includes it more into the living room space and simultaneously it gives me more room in the bedroom. So it was kind of a win-win, and that's what we went with. Um, we add glass around it just to look a little bit more modern and so it doesn't divide the bedroom so much. It, I mean, it still does. It's still there, but with it being glass, it's see-through and it's not so... Um, it's not so much of like an obstacle in the middle of the room. And I also uh, f like flipped the... Um, what is it called? The tint on the window. I flipped it inward so it's a little bit more private. And this only lasts for a second. We come in and add like a little <laughs> like roof I guess I don't know it probably has a specific name but we add like a little roof to this outdoor deck area right here and I think we leave it I don't think we delete it um but it's very clearly not finished <laughs> so we're gonna come back in and finish this out um so far I think it looks cool I like that part of it has like a roof over it the part that you would want a roof over, but the rest of it is open. So, yeah, we're going to try it, see how it works, and, yeah, but that's not until episode six. We'll do that next episode. And, yeah, this is one of the parts that I focus on um, in this episode. I focus on a really cool wardrobe because just the way that the shape of the house turned out and specifically the shape of the master suite... I had a lot of space to play with, so I said, why not? I mean, this is a huge bedroom already. I end up fitting, like, a seven-piece sectional and two other sitting areas in this bedroom. I could have easily fit an office, and I probably will in the next episode. It's just huge. It's just the biggest master suite. So, <laughs> yeah, I end up dedicating a fair portion of it to the wardrobe, and I think that's going to be a really cool part of uh, part of this house. And you'll see that I go through and make small adjustments. That's one thing that I do in this game all the time is make small adjustments, just like little things. Like if I move the camera over to the hallway in the living room and kitchen and look into the master suite, you have a really cool view, but there are things that need to be like really thought about. Like, should I really put walls in the middle of the master suite like that? And I thought, no, glass is probably better because it's see-through and... You know, just how do I want to do the wardrobe at the end of the hallway? Because you don't want to be standing in the kitchen looking down the end of the hall and see all your dirty clothes in the wardrobe. So, I don't know. Just little things. That's what we we do this episode. But we also do a lot of big things, too. We uh, almost finished. We're about 90% done with the bedroom. We haven't started any of the bathrooms, but we move downstairs and do a laundry area. And yeah, I think the bedroom turns out looking really cool. It's a really unique shape. I don't think it's probably ever been done before, this specific shape. But yeah, I think it just ends up looking really super cool. It was the idea that I had for the master suite, but it turns out even better than I thought it was going to look. So that's I can't complain there. 
And this is going to be a small little seating area, and it's just, I don't know, just for decoration, really, something to frame that wall. Just so when you look, like I said, when you look down the hall from the living room and kitchen, you see this and not like a blank wall or into the wardrobe or, you know, just something centered on that wall in the back. And I don't really know exactly what to do. I still don't know. Um, I think I used the ottoman and a plant. <laughs> I think that whatever that little tall, gangly looking plant is from the base game, that's the one that I use. And let me know what you think about the flooring in the wardrobe. That's one thing I'm unsure about. I have it as carpet right now, and I think carpet is probably the best, most realistic texture to use on the floor. But it was just a weird shade, especially with the coloring of all of the furniture and stuff I decided on in the wardrobe. So, yeah, I end up switching it to the the dark hardwood. I want to say black hardwood, but it's not quite black. That's throughout the whole house. And, yeah, I've seen hardwood that color in modern houses before, and I think it looks sweet. But let me know if you think it's too dark, because, I don't know, I think it might be a little bit too dark, but... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. You be the judge. You leave it in the comments. And I had never used that bed before, and I'm in love with it. I love the, like, reclaimed wood aspect of that bed, and it just has the coolest shape. And it when once you, like, apply an actual wood grain to it, for some reason when you, like, just place it, the stock textures on it aren't, like, very pleasing. They're, like, a weird color and the grain on the wood's not as strong as I think it should be. So I come in, I change the grain, I change the color, and it looks awesome. It really matches the style of the house. So, yeah, we just run with it. I didn't know what to put above the bed, so <laughs> I put this little shelf. It's all books, but, you know, I don't know. I didn't really know what else to put there. <laughs> and I like that little maze shelf thing, too. It really looks like it came from Ikea or something, so... We go ahead and slap that on that wall to try and fill this space, and this isn't for certain. This is just, like I said, trying to fill the space up with furniture and see what it looks like. And I think I'm going to have to come in and change that dramatically, because I really don't like how it turned out. Yeah, this is the wardrobe, and we add a, like, yeah, right there. That's going to be that the, like, walk-in portion of it, and it's going to have... I mean, it's going to be unusable in the game, I think, but... Yeah, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> it looks nice. And yeah, we're going to come in and do final touches in episode six. I'm certain there's going to be an episode six because I haven't finished it yet. <laughs> so there's going to be an episode six and I've actually filmed it already. So this will be episode five. Episode six will be up um, relatively soon as well. And I'm hoping to finish the house in six. Um, I have the two bathrooms on the main floor, the communal bathroom and the private bathroom. I have a bathroom on the bottom floor, which might be a half bath probably. So like two and a half to three bathrooms, an office, a television viewing area, and then all of the exterior that I have to do still. So if we do finish the series next episode, it will be a long episode, probably upwards of 20 to 30 minutes if we finish it in one episode. But if I get about this length, somewhere between like 12 and 18 minutes for an episode, and I don't finish it, or I do finish it, that would be awesome. <laughs> I would be stoked if I could finish it in one episode, but honestly, we'll probably go to part seven, and yeah, I'm okay with that, because this is, uh, it's not as extensive as the first house, I would say, but I'm taking better care in this house, and it's also, like, space-wise larger. It's on a bigger lot, so... It's just taking me longer than I thought, and somehow this is turning out so expensive. I know the cars in the front are like a huge expense, and I'm going to delete those when I come back in, but this is already almost as expensive as the other house somehow. I think it's the little banana plant things <laughs> that I added in the back. I talked about it in my last episode. I added like 11 grand worth of little banana leaf plants, and I did get the request to go ahead and uh, add, I think they said... Um, See, now I don't remember. I think it was shrubs or ferns or something out back instead of the banana plant things. So, yeah, someone someone should, A, tell me what those are called. But, yeah, but thank you guys for the request for the outdoor area because I was 
a little bit like unsure what I wanted to do with it. And I think we'll try in episode six and come back and take some suggestions we got. And yeah, this is another seating area in here. If you have a better request for this space, let me know. I think it looks cool and I'm not going to change it unless I get a recommendation for something that I'm missing in the house. But yeah, I just, there's a lot of seating areas in this room. So I wanted to add something that was a little more like bachelor -y. I don't want this house to be for like an 18 year old kid though. This is obviously a house that belongs to like an adult, like a single male. So that's the vibe I'm going for. I'm trying to make it a little bit sophisticated, but still really bachelor -y and really indulgent. And no, bachelor -y is not a word, but you know, <laughs> it is right now. It is for the Sims video. Just pretend. And I love these snake skins, so I said, why not line them up and do something interesting with them? I have that whole giant blank wall to fill up, so why not do something cool and fill up some of the wall space? And that's what we're doing right now, just making a cool little focal wall piece for that sitting area. And I'm going to try in my next episode, episode 6, to use those sawhorses. That's why it's sitting in the middle of the room like that. <laughs> We're going to use the sawhorse and some other items in the game to maybe try and make like a reclaimed looking coffee table or end table. Probably, I don't know, I guess probably like a decorative wall table shelf <laughs> like it's I think it's called an everyday table but yeah using something like that because it's a tall sawhorse so yeah so yeah this is the area that we come downstairs and do we are gonna where I slap that tv really quickly right there <laughs> we're going to do a sitting area or not a sitting area a television viewing area rather and that'll be nice because there's not really a lot of entertainment items in the game at this point and if you'd like to see anything added, I know if you download this house, you're going to change it. But if you'd like to see anything in the video, just let me know. I, Yeah, absolutely let me know because I love the feedback so far, what I've gotten and implemented in my houses. All of the feedback I've gotten has been good. Like I haven't gotten any bad feedback, which is awesome. Everyone has super productive things to say and everyone has left like the nicest comments and the nicest even if it's a critique, it's nice. So <laughs> I just want to thank you guys for, like, you know, viewing my videos and commenting on my channel. It's great. And, yeah, that's how the sitting area, I think, over there ends with the sectional. That's basically how we finish it. For some reason, those Into the Future windows with the big border on the top, they peek through the floor above it, if that makes any sense. You can see it by the bed. There's, like, a big black line on the middle of the floor. And I would really like to change that somehow. So if anyone has any recommendations, um, well, ideally to fix the problem, but also something to put on top of it to mask it. Um, I don't know. So yeah, just leave in the comments if you have any recommendations. And I thought this piano would just be super classy in this house. So that's what we go for. But I don't know where to put it at this point. It just kind of stays in the living room for now. <laughs> And yeah, that, okay, so you can see now the bottom floor is taking shape better. The one part is going to be a large laundry, and right adjacent to it is going to be a half bath, maybe a full bath. If I put a guest room downstairs, I'll do a full bath. But yeah, so that kind of is what it is. I'm thinking about like coming in and redoing this whole thing, moving the laundry area behind the stairs on that long wall, and turning this into a bedroom connected to that bathroom. So it would be like a downstairs, like extra bedroom, guest room, maybe like a kid's room or something. I have no idea. Leave in the comments uh, if you have a recommendation, though, because this is the only like wide enough space, I guess. It's the only decent space downstairs to use for a bedroom-bathroom combo. So, yeah, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see down here. I think the laundry room turns out nice, but, you know, <laughs> I'm open to switching and trying something new. And there's about a minute left in the video, and what we do for the rest of the video is basically this, just finish the laundry area. So, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of Let's Build a House. I will have, I mean, if you're watching this as it comes up, I will have episode 6 up for you tomorrow. And, yeah, thank you guys again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.